Hello YouTube, this is Queen Violet 8, where it's good to be queen, coming at you with my PS3 collection and a small haul. I don't have that many items in the pickups, but just wanted to see what I've been <laughs> attempting to buy before it's too late. I finally got my copy of Fragrance Story. It just came in a few days ago, uh, CD included. I'm not going to unbox this. There are plenty of videos already doing that. Uh, happy to have it. This game is still on the eShop for like three, four dollars. You know, if you don't want to, because it's a short game. Uh, if you don't want to, you know, open your copy, you can always play it that way. All right, at first, we thought that was going to be the only 3DS game we we're going to get, but now Go Go Coca Polo is coming out. So we don't know what's really going on, but there's, you know, so much. We still don't know who has 3DS games for sale or not finally got this one been needing to have this one because with three coming out i've never even played the first one this is xenoblade chronicles definitive edition everyone knows what this is uh if you're a fan of the series you know and you haven't gotten this copy get it now it's getting harder to find i think there were six or five left brand new on amazon when i bought this one and when the stock starts getting low it's gonna go up and i paid like 40 something dollars for this one uh, get this because I know these are going to be collectible. I know they are. Then I got this bad boy. Oh my word. This is, I can't really hold it up. It's so big. This is Octopath Traveler, the complete guide. This is a huge book. I mean, look at the thickness on that. Um, it's heavy. If you were to drop this on your foot, I know you break a few toes. I mean, it's like an encyclopedia, but it's got all the information that you need to play the game. If you're lost, this is the ultimate guide for you to play the game. I ordered the game from Amazon. It was supposed to come with my Xenoblade Chronicles. And when I opened it, Oddworld was in there instead of the cartridge of Octopath Traveler. So that's being sent back as soon as possible. I'm not happy with that. I probably won't rebuy that game from Amazon. I'm going to get it off eBay because there are still people that have a brand new copy of it for like $40, $50. So I'm going to buy it there. But I'm looking forward to playing it when I get it. But I'm glad I got the guide. Uh, they still have this, you know, if you, you want to complete it, it's got artwork in it and everything. It's, it's, it's really nice. Uh, I'm surprised at how good it is, you know, but, uh, you know, get that if you want to, you know, really have all the ins and outs of Octopath Traveler. And now I'm going to talk about <laughs> my PS3. Oh, one more thing. If you are going to order, uh, Go Go Coca Polo, uh, for a physical copy, we know how limited run is. They get crazy with their stuff. And the next thing you know, the scalpers get a hold of and it's like $100 when it was only $50 if you could have gotten it. Because I've stayed up till midnight trying to get something. And don't get it and the scalpers get it and the bots and all that crap. So I just downloaded it from the from the 3DS shop for like 5 bucks, And that's how I'm going to play it. Because it, it's a fun game. But if you can't get a physical copy, I say download it now. Because sometimes when games become physical, they will take off the digital games. And then you'll be wondering, you know, what happened to the digital game. But now that it's physical, like they did with Code of Princess, I think they'll probably do that with Go Go Coca Polo. So go ahead and download that now. It, it Download it now. I, I truly believe that's probably what might happen. So I have a PlayStation 3 and I've had mine since. I know it's kind of funny. <laughs> right here i couldn't keep the whole box i'm so sorry but when i bought it and i went in the GameStop, they had the harry potter version it came with the movie the last movie and i got the 160 gigabyte i couldn't keep the whole box i just cut the front of it out yeah i know uh i don't have any room in my room to put a lot of stuff and to have a lot of boxes i mean my ps4 box is behind my bed but you know i picked up the 160 gigabyte and it lasted me for a long time i didn't get my ps3 till three years after it had, it had come out and i couldn't get the backwards compatible one i wished i could have that would allow you to play your ps2 games on it but i couldn't but i'm just happy i got something <laughs> um then like a week after they announced the whole we're gonna close the psp store down and the vita and all this my PS3 died. I was already downloading stuff. And I was like, man, I need more, you know, room on my PS3. I ain't got enough, you know, storage. And the next thing I know, the red light comes on and it wouldn't stay on. I panicked. I got on eBay so quick and bought another one for, I think, $150. And it came like two weeks later. I'm just happy to get that thing because I, I didn't want to miss out, you know, trying to get 
a few more games before the store closed or so we thought uh this is the one i got it's in wonderful shape dude kept it pristine i mean nice i think they opened it up cleaned them up i had somebody put me a 500 uh gigabyte hard drive in here so i'd have extra storage uh happy to have it uh still playing it i'm playing uh battle princess of arcadia's right now really like that game i gotta get the dungeons and dragons uh fighting game as well it's kind of like playing streets of rage real neat but let's get to the collection and i do not have a case for this i found this at a at a pawn shop this is blaze blue continuing shift uh wonderful fighting game by the way i really like playing as the cat girl i forget her name now this one i'd heard about from once again, Radical Reggie, thank you. You you keep me broke, brother. But <laughs> this is King of the Fighters 13. This is the one you want if you want all the characters. This has every one of them. I mean, the roster is huge on this. This is the Japanese version. I couldn't find the American version anywhere. Um, but I got this straight from Japan. I was happy to get it. It plays perfectly on the PS3. You know, the PS3 is, you know, region free. Thank you goodness that's about the only thing going for the older models and you can pay your ps1 games on it but this is a great game i'm a big kyo kusanagi fan that's my boy him and i played uh i play him a lot and vice a whole lot as well and mature and k those are my favorite characters uh in the series then we have tales of zelia 2 if you played the first one, which I did, and I loved it, uh, I really liked that game. And I went ahead and grabbed this one uh, real quick because I was just really happy I got it with this. And I think it was Tales of Graces F. I picked that up as well. And really good game if you want to finish out, you know, the series. I picked this one up. And if you're a fan of the comic like I was back in the day, and I still, I'm behind on it, but I want to get back to reading it. And that is The Darkness. This is based on an image comic. Well, I think it's top called Top Cow Now or something. I don't know. I don't know if they're still doing anything. Thank you, Mr. Sylvester. As this, you know, y'all did wonderful stuff back in the 90s. You know, I miss y'all. Um, in a time where you could go into the grocery store. And this, you could actually find comics at my local grocery store. And I'd buy it in a heartbeat. The moment I saw it, I think it was the Angela. She was playing dice. And the dice were on fire. I was like... That is so awesome. I quickly started reading the series. But this is based on the comic. It's loosely based on the comic. It's not completely as it was. When you start off, it's not during his awakening or anything. He's been in the game a while. So pretty much the story is, if you haven't read it, his name is Jackie Estacado. He works for the Estacado family. Frank, I, Frank Estacado is the mob boss. And Jackie has been working for him since he was a child that he got him out of the orphanage. And so on Jackie's 18th birthday, he inherits the power of the darkness. And pretty much, you can work anything you want to do. You can make anything as long as you're in the shadows or in the dark. It manifests guns, uh, chains. It's kind of like Spawn, but but uh, I think his name is Constantine. He's one of the villains. He's part of the Brotherhood of Darkness. They worship the darkness and pretty much want to use Jackie to rule the world. But Jackie's like, forget y'all, but... His friend Jenny, who he grew up in the orphanage, has a conversation with Constantine after they kidnap her, trying to make Jackie do what they want him to do. And he says, have you ever seen Star Wars? She's like, yeah. He says, the darkness is like Star Wars. It's the force on crack, which it is. It is some gruesome deaths that he does in the comics. They don't show a whole lot, but one dude had been bothering the Estacados for a while, and he was so angry. You know, his, his uncle pretty much sent him, get rid of him. So he uses his chains, and this is how the darkness works. No light can come through. He pretty much drags the man into the toilet and kills him. I was like, dang. <laughs> and they were like, how did this happen? You know, and they've got these like 20 dudes outside the bathroom. Like he just scared they would take a dump. What's wrong with him? Ain't nobody going to get him. He got them three Godzilla looking dogs out there in the front. But Jackie got him. So that's how the darkness works. So they had this game. It's the first one. And I picked up the second one. I got to get a cover. I know. Uh, I got some ordered. I, they ain't got here yet. Forgive me. But, uh, you know, if you're interested in the series, I say pick it up. I don't buy loose ones anymore. I try to get compilations because it's cheaper to do that. And I have more room if I just get a collected volume. But it's it's a good series. I really liked it. Uh, I have played the game some. It's, it's 
loose on the uh, comic, but it's a good, good game. Now, this is Dragon Guard 3. And, you know, I think this is the last Dragon Guard we got, but I'm happy to have this one. Beautiful artwork, by the way. Very bloody and violent. I mean, it's right up here with the darkness, pretty much. And it's, you know, it's killing and blood and everything. But uh, pick that up. I've never opened this. I don't know if I'll ever play it. But it was really cheap back in the day. It was like $20 for this. And now I think it's going up. But, you you know, pick up these games while you can if you see them, if you want them. I'm not saying you got to get everything I'm, I'm, you know, suggesting. But if you find it interesting, you know, get it. This is El Shaddai Ascension. Beautiful, beautiful graphics on this. It just, there's something about it. It just flows really interesting when you're playing this. I picked this up from GameStop during Cyber Monday. I picked up quite a few games and was happy to get it. Real interesting game. Uh, action RPG. I also picked up this one. And I'll talk about this one with this one. This is R. Tonelico Koga. Kiel. R. C. L. What a name. I mean, I don't like games with really, really long names. It don't make no sense to me. But this is also part of the Arno Surge series. So this is Arno Surge Ode to an Unborn Star. They also have this on the Vita. Uh, you can still play it that way. I think it's still downloadable. Uh, but it's a very good game, actually. I was really surprised. I have not played this one yet, but I intend to get around to it, hopefully. Love my fighting games. I mean, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. A really neat how they did the uh, work, you know, because I'm used to Tekken being 3D and Street Fighter being 2D. But, you know, everybody's got this almost, I want to say it's almost 3D, but it's still kind of 2D-ish look. Real good, though. I really like seeing the uh, when they were doing the uh, trailers for them and they were doing the This Is My Town and all of that. That was really good. Uh, Bayonetta. Uh, happy to have this one. I actually have this on the Switch. But if you were like me and you picked it up and you didn't get that download code, you can't play the first one. But, you know, you can still download it. But, you know, I have it on the P PS3. No use to doing that. Looking forward to the third one coming out. Really looking forward to that. I hope to be able to get a collector's edition. But, you know, we don't know. <laughs> Scalpers. I mean, the Shin Megami Tensei, uh, Soul Hackers 2. I, I know I'm not going to be able to get a collector's edition. I'll just get a regular one and just be happy to get that. This is, let me try to say it right, y'all. Dengeki Bunko. Fighting Climax. This is a 2D fighter. It's got people from Sword Art Online, Irregular, and Magic Academy. My boy Tetsuya. Uh, which, really good anime, by the way. It's got some people from Dura Dura as well on here. It's just a 2D fighter. Uh, really good. Now, this one, I picked this up not knowing it was going to come to the PS4. Uh, I didn't have a PS4 then, but I definitely have one now. This is Persona 5. This is the original one that came out on the PS3. And uh, I'm, I'm, I had started playing this one, but when I found out they had it on PS4, I quit so I could play Royal instead. Awesome soundtrack. I mean, man, Get Up, Wake Up is my favorite song. It's just, it gets me amped. You know, it's like almost workout music, happy music. This is Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. I'm a big X-Men fan. And when I saw that Gambit was playable on here, I, I jumped to get him. He's one of my favorite dudes in the X-Men. Now, this game is no longer on the PS3 store uh, or the Vita. you got to get this one physically if you want to play it. And people have talked about this. This is Lost Dimension. You're climbing this tower to uh, face this end boss. And pretty much someone's going to betray you and you have to get rid of them. You have to get rid of them before you can ascend to another tower. And you have to figure out who it is and uh, get them out of your way. Pretty much you have to snuff them out. But uh, it's an Atlas game. It's harder to find now. Uh, if you can find it, you know, maybe you can, I don't know, but it's an interesting, interesting game. Oh, I forgot something. Oh, no, no, I got it. These are my Atelier games and where are the other ones at? I just had, oh, there they are. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Now I've got them. <laughs> All right. These are my Atelier games. Somebody was selling them in a a whole set of all of them at one time. You know, uh, Atelier, Mimiru, Escalogi, uh, Sh Shalier, and Atelier Aisha. Now, with Mimiru, I 
there's something about those the earlier games had that stupid time limit and i felt rushed i couldn't enjoy this game i couldn't and i just i was like i was loving the graphics i was loving the characters but man next thing you know dude you ran out of time you gotta start all over uh -uh. after the third time i just i put it down <laughs> i couldn't keep playing it i was so disappointed so i just i dropped it but this is not the original atelier memory room i got lucky and came across this this is the arlen trilogy so it's got all three games for the arlen uh saga on it so i didn't have to you know buy three different games i just have this one but i'm not gonna play them i mean i don't like the the timeline it just it makes me feel rushed like i can't enjoy the game that way uh i really like Eston logic i'm just thrilled to see a dude in here i mean usually it's just it, these are so pushed towards the girls not that i'm complaining but i'd like to see more more guys in here like uh, this could be somebody's brother and they're looking for their sister or somebody's son on down the line uh, like um what's her name uh, shelly's kid or something you never know would be interesting to see a, a male protagonist the next time that would be really cool i mean main character excuse me that would be interesting but i really like this one so glad they did away with the time limits on these Atelier Shelly. Of course, they do have these on modern platforms. You can buy an entire collection for your Switch, which I think is a hundred dollars. And it does, it is on Play Asia. And I think it's also sold by Amazon. Atelier Aisha. Real happy to have those, but you know, the modern ones, you don't have any kind of time limit. Overjoyed about that. Because I really wanted to play the game, but I just felt rushed. King of the Fighters. Um, which one is this? This is 12. Uh, I picked this one up, you know, just a big King of the Fighters fan. I love Yori's, I thought about that, his his uh, theme. Really like that one with the saxophone. I had to pick this one up when I saw who was fighting in it. And that is Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Wesker is playable in here. You got Dante from Devil May Cry. You got Beautiful Joe. They need to bring him to the Switch. I mean, he'd be perfect for the Switch. I really like that one and his uh, character. Really cute. But yes, Wesker is a playable character. <laughs> and he's awesome too. All right, this is Lollipop Chainsaw. This is a great game. Somebody needs to bring these to the modern platform. Somebody needs to do this. It's hilarious. Pretty much you're a cheer cheerleader, you know, almost Buffy the Vampire Slayerish. You got your boyfriend in a zombie outbreak at the school. And well, pretty much the entire town. And your boyfriend, he got bit. And the only thing left of him is his head. And it actually talks. And she pretty much just clips him on her bag and takes him everywhere with her as she destroys the zombies with a chainsaw. It's, it's really funny. I mean, I'd like to see them bring this to modern consoles. I don't know if they will. But it would be nice to for you know it to be brought in. Very violent game, but it's funny. Uh, thank you, Radical Reggie, you know. Man, you, you tearing up my little wallet. But this was during the whole PlayStation, you know, store close. And I made sure to grab this one. I got lucky and it actually came with the cover. Even though it's not in the greatest of shape, I can always get another one. But I was just happy to have it. This one I also picked up before it went up. I heard somebody talking about this one. This is Folklore. I think it's based on Scottish mythology. I think Folklore, excuse me. I may be wrong. But it's a really good game. and But I just couldn't get into it. The graphics were so... Uh, I, how can I put it? Bland and dark. So I, I have not played this. I did pick up a strategy guide, though. Oh, crap. Dropped it. <laughs> Street Fighter Arcade Edition. This is Street Fighter 4. Uh, this is the one you want if you want all your characters. I love Makoto and Jiri. Those are my favorites. Another one under the the great wisdom of Radical Reggie. This is Alice Madness Returns. This is an action RPG. And pretty much you are Alice in a very twisted wonderland of madness, pretty much. And she's pretty much in the mental asylum. And, you know, some people say this is all going on in her head. I don't know. But uh, pick this up if you see it. It's It's getting harder to find. I don't see it as much on eBay either. Resonance of Fate. I picked this up. It was dirt cheap. You know, I think it was like 10 bucks. 
Now, this game is one that I know is automatically going to be expensive. This is Tears 2 TR 2, Air of the Overlord. This is an NIS game. I can only get the European version. Just happy to have it. I paid like $32 for it. Brand new. Uh, it's a, uh, I think it's a, excuse me, a strategy RPG. Soul Calibur 4. Big Soul Calibur fan. This is Eternal Sonata, a uh, RPG based on uh, a lot of musical references, many of your, you know, weapons. I think it's to do with Bach. I'm not sure. I think it's when he's, like, sick and uh, his mind pretty much goes to this place. I could be wrong. Just look it up. Forgive me if I am. A good RPG, really pretty visuals. Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage. I picked this up during the Cyber Monday from uh, GameStop. Happy to have it. You know, I'm a big Fist of the North Star fan. Love that opening theme song of U.S. Shock. <laughs> Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Oh, my boy Ryden. He's one of my favorites. Or should we be calling him Mr. Lightning Bolt? Uh, real good game. Guilty Gear Exerd Revelator. Um, if you're looking for biking to be in this, uh, game, she's not in this one. She's in the second one. I had to learn that the hard way because I had to buy the second one just so I could play as her. Pardon me. Put these over here. Got this one during the Black Friday sale. This is DuckTales Remastered. They need to bring this to the Switch. They really do. It would be perfect for the Switch. It's just like the original DuckTales, but with amazing PS3 graphics. Wonderful game. Really, really liked it. Uh, happy to see the uh, the voice actor who has passed away, unfortunately, is the original voice actor for Scrooge, Scrooge McDuck is in here, in this game. Bleach. Soul Resurrection. Uh, action RPG. Really good game, actually. I'm a big fan of Bleach. Uh, I love that show, and I read the manga, and I never forget, I think it was volume two or three, where he's uh, fighting, you know, in the underground chamber, Urahara's got him down there training him and he's fighting that little girl and she beats his tail and he, he told Urahara, he's like, I couldn't even land a hit on her. She beat me like I owed her money. <laughs> Real funny. Uh, if you're a fan, I, I definitely say pick that one up. These games right here, my goodness, there's no difference in either one and it's sad, but this is uh, Record of Argus War. Zero and Record of Argus War 2. I started this one got pretty far in it and man i tell you it it's so slow it's like you're never gonna get to anything good it's taking forever so i i have not picked it back up i was pretty far in and i'm surprised i made it that long as boring as it was and i'm not gonna play the second one i mean there's not too much difference in it uh at all but you know if they're for you they're rpgs they're interesting uh, but they're just, they're, they're time consuming and they take too long for it to start getting good. So, but if you want to play them, knock yourself out. Once again, a radical Reggie. I really pay attention to him and other people like Eric Langdon and, and Miller Jesus and, uh, all of those people, Switch Force, a happy console gamer. They always talk about some interesting games and they keep me broke, but this is Aqua Paza, Aqua Plus Dream Match. Real good fighting game, actually. I was surprised. Uh, really enjoyed it. And uh, I still play it on and off. I still play my fighting on games on and off. You know, sometimes I'll just devote a few days just to fighting games. Because they're so, you know, easy to get through. They don't take as long. Star Ocean. The Last Hope International. It'd be nice to see all the Star Ocean games get one compilation to be put on the Switch. If possible. I had no idea there was an Ultimax of this when I bought this. It was only $20. But this is Persona uh, 4 Arena. Uh, love Persona 4. Good game. Uh, really good game. I, I I studied that strategy guide meticulously. But this is a fighting game. And I love my girl Chie. She's one of my favorites in this one. Real fast. Her combos are very easy to pull off. This is Nier, the original one. I've still got to get... Automata and the other one, uh, the remake of this one. Uh, it, I, I played this game and you know the ending was very sad. You know it, it was kind of you know it 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 tugs at you a bit at the end, knowing what he has to go through. 
picked this up when I got the uh, Tales of Zillia 2. This is Tales of Grace's F. Tales games are gorgeous. And I tell you this now. With all the other Tales games that have come out and all, I say pick these up now. Because I got a feeling they're going to be rare later. These two games are automatically... I knew they were going to be rare because nobody talks about them much. And they're good. This is the Awakened Fate Ultimatum. And... The Guided Fate Paradox. This is in the same universe of, as the other game. These two are connected. And pretty much you win a lottery to become God. And pretty much you go to take care of the world and fix things and hear prayers and things like that. Real interesting. You can choose to be a good, good God or an evil one. I picked these up. These are very interesting. Uh, I got this one real cheap. It came from a library. <laughs> But pick these up if you see them, if you can. You know, these are NIS. They become pricey later on. I don't know what it is, but I definitely give these a try. These, these are pretty fun. Um, but the story is what you really want for these because they have some wacky stuff going on. It doesn't make any sense, but it's funny. This game went up in price. I was shocked when I heard about it. The Simpsons, the game. Um... This was the last Simpson game we got. So, yeah, pick that up. Real good game. If you're a fan of the show, which I was watching when it first was on. Yeah, I'm showing my age. The Tracy Ullman show. That's where they first started with The Simpsons. This is Kingdom Hearts. I just kept the original manual from the PS2. And put the... Excuse me. I know that's going to fall out. The, uh, the HD2 uh, remix is uh, in this one instead. I just kept my... Manual for my one for the PS2. They need to make a physical of just all of them in one big collection. I, I gotta find that. I think they do have one. I, I intend to get it. Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. Uh, I can't remember where I picked this up. I think it was... It might have been Big Lots. But, I mean, Naruto used to flood the market. He had games everywhere. I mean, you could walk into Fred's and find Naruto games. Sonic's Genesis Collection. I really, really like this when it first came out, but now that I have the one for the Switch, I don't even look at this one anymore. But it was good when, you know, it first came out. It had all the old games that, you know, on it. This guy at three. Absence of Justice. Really like this guy. Love those printings. Hilarious. And Mao is hilarious too. Catherine. I've got to get full body for the uh, Switch. Uh, so I'll have it because I got a feeling this one's going to go up as well. I don't think the PS3 version will, but I know the Switch one will. But who knows? PS3 may go up. This right here, I thought this was going to be a fighting game. I messed up when I bought it. I didn't give, I gave under $20 for it. This is X-Blade, X-Blade's Cold Embryo. It's got something to do with the Blaze Blue Continuum a game but it's a lot of of narration and, and talking and reading in this one it's almost like a visual novel it has very few action scenes it has some action but not enough if you ask me i tried to play it but it was too much too much reading so i haven't finished it but uh if that's up your alley you know give it a try real interesting and that is my ps3 collection you know, you can still find these games cheap. I say jump on it if you see them. You know, if you have one and you want to start a collection, you know, there are still tons of games that don't cost that much. But uh, give it a go. You know, the PS3 has still got some great games on there that are only on that system. So, you know, grab those while you can. Stay safe out there. Later days.